It is a rich man's world here at Wembley today. The most lucrative game in world football in the world's most expensive stadium. Well, by the time we leave here this afternoon, one of these two sides will be in the company of the world's best in the Premier League. Wembley is a cauldron of noise. And it is Derby in the white who get us off and underway. Third place against fourth over the control. Coran now and Diamanti Kamara. Leaving Seth Johnson in his way. Still going, Kamara. It's terrific work. A stinging shot that spilled and required Darren Moore to get it clear. A little bit panicky early on from Derby at the back and a little bit of ominous signs in the form of Kamara going forward. And then Phillips back here at Wembley, it's his fourth visit, he's played a couple of times back in 2000 for England, but uh, we'll certainly remember his last playoff visit here in that extraordinary 4 all Here comes Tosky Salido for Derby, well it opened up for them there, a gaping gap through the Albion defence, but Pesh couldn't capitalise. Well it's Howard flicking the ball on as we thought he may be able to do, and then he just stretches to put Pesca Salido in and really you'd quite fancy him from there he just didn't do anything with the ball I don't know whether the ball kind of gets stuck in the middle of his stride he can't really find any kind of an angle if he had Derby could be in front and it's come to Kumas that usually spells trouble for defences Still going, Jason Kumas. He is still going. This is terrific by Kumas. In comes the challenge. No penalty kick. Well, I can't believe it. A fantastic run. Fantastic control. Shifts the ball. Where's the challenge coming from? Well, did he touch the ball? Super slow. It's Tyrone Mears coming in. And he's just got his right foot on the ball. What a good decision that is from Graham Pohl. Because it would have been very, very easy for him to give a penalty for that. All about getting the big decisions right in a game like this, and he has done. One manager's probably going to end up wishing he'd done it slightly differently, both on and off the pitch. And Billy Davis saying that he learnt plenty from uh, his visit to the Millennium Stadium with Preston when they were edged out by West Ham. And this is a West Ham player, Mears, it's a terrific burst. It was Fagan, actually, wasn't it, who uh, took it on. Great work by Craig Fagan. Oh, when he gets the ball here, he's faced up by Paul Robinson. And he cuts inside and he just keeps going and going. It's on his weaker left foot. But West Brom just allow him to keep coming inside. Kamara. Gear up. It's Kevin Phillips. And it saved the top of the crossbar. The best chance of the match for West Brom in Albia. And the best move of the match as well, Kamara feeds the ball in, what a beautiful touch that is, and Kevin Phillips, left foot. And the curial teenager, Giles Barnes, in Kumas, West Bromwich Albion have their man who can make something out of nothing. We're about to see Derby's version introduced. He is a talented, talented, skillful young man, Giles Barnes. Now what Derby have got to do? They've got to give that ball to him so he can get at West Bromwich Albion. Fagan. Trying to thread it through. Oh, it was a wonderful effort. And a terrific save from Kylie to deny Oakley. That's an incredible strike. I can't tell you how difficult a skill this is. The ball's fizzed in, but Matt Oakley flies across the near defender, the near post, and to get such a good connection on the ball there, he must think he's open to scoring. Fantastic save. Corran. Forward comes Robinson. Fagan with the tackle. No quarter given in that midfield. And it's away from Kumas. And it's at the feet of Derby's top scorer, Stephen Howard. Barnes wants it threaded through. He's got just that. It's Charles Barnes. It's Pearson. It is 1 0 to Derby Guilty. A playoff lead for the Rams. And a priceless goal for Pearson. Would you believe it? Just as you thought West Brom and Albion were creating the sustained pressure. Derby break forward. There's an awful lot of movement in this attack. But as big Stephen Howard, I think Chris Perry has got to come and close that ball down and Sam Sodji's got to get across. He doesn't. He pays the ultimate price because Giles Barnes squares a beautiful ball and Pearson...
Madison has taken a gamble at the far post. He's come to the near post. He's got inside McShane. And look at that. The ball ends up in the back of the net. And what does that mean to him? Is that the £60 million pound goal? You just feel, don't you, this probably going to be one last chance for West Bromwich Albion somewhere in this last six minutes or so. Kamara, it's Carter. It's Grand Polk, who again says that enough of the ball was won. Well, Darren Carter bursts into the box. Look, terrific again. Seth Johnson is uh, just uh, trying to eke out a few more seconds. He's going to go off. But uh, understandable, I suppose, in the circumstances reaction from the uh, Albion players who feel that uh, this is just a little bit of gamesmanship, a little bit of time wasting. Sure, Graham Polo will take account of this. There we go. Four minutes away from the Premiership, Derby County. Clement, who has a hammer of a left foot, tries to use it. It's wide, a little bit of a deflection as well. On a corner. I'm surprised Dean Kiley's not up there now. This really is last chance saloon for West Bromwich Albion. It is score here, or it is another season in the championship. It's Carter's corner. Pearson of all people with the touch. Derby County are heading for the Premiership. Billy Davis's boys have done it. The whole stronger than the individual and the whole prize going to Derby County and Matt Oakley leading the way up Lord Mulwiney the chairman of the Football League and uh, the representative of Coca-Cola the championship sponsors this is the moment that Derby have dreamt of the best possible way to get promoted isn't it in front of all your supporters at this gleaming new Wembley. After five years apart, Derby and the Premiership, our old friends reunited. They're heading back to the top. Uh, I'm feeling tired now. Uh, I'm so excited, you know. Uh, it's a big come down, you know. I've gone upstairs, collected the medal, and come down, and uh, the lads are just so happy. It's unbelievable. There's like, it's, it's pretty scarce in the uh, dressing rooms. I think everyone's on the phone to the families and. Uh, just it's a massive achievement for the club and for the fans and for everyone else and I'm just so happy to be part of it. You can't actually believe it really, um, obviously we were in line for automatic promotion but you know when it actually happens you know it's kind of like a shock. Yeah it's a fairy tale story when you think about where this club started, how, how far behind everyone else it was to do it with, without my right arm, my assistant manager is obviously fantastic achievement itself, I've missed him dearly, it's an it's a unfortunate situation that he finds himself in, but uh, you know what's in it. No, it hasn't quite sunk in yet. Obviously, it's a, a remarkable achievement, as I say, for everybody. Um, we're going to enjoy the night and uh, enjoy the summer and look forward to it. Never experienced anything like that in my life. Um, it was just um, a pleasure to play. Do you look in the eyes of the opposition and think, right, it's a day for men today? Well, I was showing out. You know, I always said it was a big game for big players and, uh, and we had the bigger players. I mean, when you look at this, look at that black and white, that must remind you of the black and white back at right. St James's. It does, it does. It does. But, uh, no, you know, we're just going to... Um, what can I say? We went up there, you know, we're underdogs and, you know, we'll, we'll produce, the, produce the goods in the day and credit the lads we've got. The atmosphere today and, you know, for both sets of fans, to be fair, was, you know, it was unbelievable. Um, and to come here and, and win, you know, makes it all worthwhile. You know, we were disappointed to, to not go up automatically, but, you know, I think this is the best way if you're going to do it. This is, a, this is a way to do it. And, you know, thankfully the, the boys have, uh, have produced the goods today. So it's, it's, uh, it's a great feeling.